everybody, I got really, really good news. If you're a huge Pokemon fan, if you're a huge Nintendo fan, especially on the console side, I got really, really good news. And this right here is going to be the blockbuster hit of 2017. And it's not going to be the only hit. You got the Mario uh, 3D game, and you got the Legend of Zelda, in which it got uh, pushed back. But everybody knows Pokemon basically outsells everything. And for the Nintendo Switch to have the Pokemon Sun and Moon on lunch day is freaking awesome. Freaking awesome, man. I'm, I'm happy to report this. Uh, this comes from Eurogamer. Of course, they've been a very credible source. And, you know, basically, they're the ones that give Emily Rogers a whole bunch of details. And, of course, yesterday, Emily Rogers said she will no longer give out any more rumors you know, because they, I guess she said that she wants everybody to be surprised whenever January 12th gets here. So, yeah, after <laughs> she said she's she's uh, no longer reporting the rumors, Eurogamer <laughs> basically came out and gave us this, man. This is, um, wow. I know that we've been already been, um, you know, um, I guess informed like a few months ago that we was going to get a Pokemon game within the first six months of the Switch launch. But... They said that this game is it's going to be a lunch game. Pokemon Sunday Moon is going to be a lunch game. So, why y'all been wanting to play a Pokemon HD on a home console? Y'all y'all wish has come true, man. Like this is this, this is a dream come true for a lot of uh, Nintendo console gamers. You know, they've been wanting to play Pokemon, uh, you know, a console, you know, games for a very long time. You know, it only took them 20 years to do it. <laughs> it only took them 20 years, but you know, the reason why they're doing it because you get to take it on the go. You know, of course, you want to, you know, whenever you battle other people, you get to, you know, take wherever you, you know, wherever you want to take it at. And this, um, yeah, that's why that's why Nintendo came out with this Nintendo Switch because that's the first thing that a lot of us was thinking about. I was like, okay. That means that no no more Pokemon games on the 3DS. They might still get it, but the main focus is going to be on the Switch because first of all, it's a new hardware improved on the graphics. HD graphics. HD means you get to have better looking Pokemon games on the go. So this makes sense. You know, a lot of people thinking that that a lot of 3DS titles not coming onto the Switch. No, no, that doesn't make sense because it defeats the purpose of having a uh, Nintendo home console that basically can turn into a handheld. It doesn't make sense. So eventually the 3DS is going to get phased out even though Kimo Shima came out and said, said it that, you know, it's not going to get phased out, but eventually it will because a lot of 3DS owners, when they see the difference between the 3DS graphics and the Nintendo Switch graphics, they're going to throw they're gonna throw that shit away and they're going to get them a Nintendo, uh, Nintendo Switch. I'm just, just being honest with y'all. So yes, man, I'm really happy to report this. This is coming from a lot of sources and right now I guess the the code name is um, for the uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon is, is called Pokemon Star. So that's that's basically the uh, the code name for it. And they say it's gonna be ready at launch and like I said man I'm I'm really excited. You know I haven't played a Pokemon game since freaking red and blue. That was back in the Game Boy color days, you know but you know, I, I enjoyed it. You know, don't, don't get me wrong. When I used to be a handheld gamer, I love those games. But you know, I, I got older. I'm an adult. I got big ass hands, so it's just, it just it's just uncomfortable to hold a, a 3DS for hours trying to trying to play games. You know, but like I said, I'm really excited to report this. And let's go ahead and get to our next bit of news. Okay, if y'all think news like this does not get any better, I got even more better news. Like, if you want two different Mario games at lunch, and one of the Mario games is a 3D Mario game, and the other Mario game is basically that genre in which we've been missing for a very long time, RPG, Mario RPG. It's gonna be a crossover with the Rabbits. So that's basically what's going on with Ubisoft. And Nintendo basically gonna you know be watching their, their development. So they're gonna be giving out direction on how they want this game to turn out. So that's why, Ubisoft has been praising Nintendo because they see a lot of money to this project. You know, Mario RPG, like Mario sells, so, you know, it really makes sense for them to have uh, a lot of crossovers. I think that was a really smart move. And uh, let me go ahead and read this uh, little article right, right now. Uh, it says a Mario role playing game is in development at Ubisoft. It will feature the company's rabbit characters, too. Nintendo will be overseeing development of the game whose uh, formal title has not yet been confirmed, but it's currently under the working title Mario RPG Invasion of the Rabbits. It's being developed 
under the watchful months monitoring of Nintendo, ensuring that it both hits launch day and it confirms to Nintendo owns internal specification for how Mario characters and iconography should be presented. A post on UK based Let's Play Video Games reads, it goes on to elaborate what kind of gameplay you can expect when it hits. Uh, the title will focus on the Mario universe being invaded by Ubisoft rabbit characters, some friends, and some foes. Uh, and it will feature a new Bowser form based around the design of rabbits as a recurring boss enemy. While there will be numerous cameo appearances from Mario series based known characters, the core party will feature numerous more minor characters. There is a particular focus on Yoshi as a primary party member alongside with playable Rabbit. Uh, they said the game will be playable in January, probably in time for Nintendo's event where it will officially un unveil as well as the Nintendo Switch itself. The playable demo will show off the Switch Joy-Con controllers vibrate to imply Rabbit's jumping in and out of the console's screen or the TV it is attached to. It is going to be one of the cornerstone trailers shown when Nintendo details the system further in January. So, guys, that's uh, really good news, man. Really good news. And I'm pretty sure, you know, if you're, uh, if you're a Nintendo guy, you know, I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all did play the Rabbids game. Now, I really wasn't into the Rabbids games. That was on the Wii and Wii U. You know, but having a Mario RPG crossover, like, I would love to play that. I'm, I'm, first of all, I'm a huge Mario RPG fan. You know, just to have this on lunch day, with Mario 3D, Pokemon Sun and Moon, Skyrim, God dang, this is fucking hype, guys. This is fucking hype. Like, Jesus Christ. Nintendo is, I swear to God, you know, I really believe that these rumors are true because, like I said, you're a gamer and all these sources have been really credible. Emily Rogers came out yesterday and she said that she's no longer giving out rumors after she said that. You're a gamer, tell me, but they're going to give us some, some rumors uh, the next day. Like, damn, man. Like, Maybe some of this shit should have been a surprise because you know, you know, I'm I'm really hyped. You know, my hypeness is back. You know, my my hypeness was kind of gone for a little bit because Nintendo gave us that three minute trailer that kept a lot of people happy and hype. And all of a sudden they said they're not giving any more details until January 12th. But you know, it doesn't stop all the freaking leakers, you know, to give us these if all these details that we've been wanting to get. But damn, man, say some of that shit. I think we got enough information. I think we got enough information, guys. Like, come on. Pokemon Sun and Moon, 3D Mario, like Jesus Christ, all in the first year with the Legend of Zelda. God dang, woo! I'm I'm done. <laughs> Nintendo is officially back, guys. Nintendo is officially back. Like damn, I know there was some crying going on about Legend of Zelda. Is um, basically you know uh, since it's going to be delayed on the launch day that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you got people like Black Bond talking about it. <laughs> it's going to be a failure at lunch. Like, Jesus Christ, Black Bond, get out of here with that shit, dude. Get out of here with that shit. You know, yes, we understand you You freaking hate on the Wii U. Yes, you got your reasons and everything. But damn, get this thing a chance before you want to hate on, hate on that shit, man. But like I said, this shit is fucking hype. And I'm fucking excited to give y'all this news. And what do y'all guys think about this? Mario RPG, 3D Mario, Skyrim. Freaking Splatoon at lunch. Like, I, I can't take no more, guys. Yes, maybe Zelda has to wait. Like, I'm really so hyped. No, if it, you know, if it was up to me, I would love to have Zelda lunch on, on lunch uh, day because I'm a huge Zelda fan. But these games are enough. I can't handle no more. I can't handle no more. So, like I say, guys, give me your thoughts and your opinions on how y'all feel about this news. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Facebook, Google+. Plus. Once again, it's your boy, Game 27 Have a good day.